after I got my master's degree in, uh, in chemical engineering from a uh, university in Spain, in Spain called IQS, uh, the next step was actually a telecom company where we located cell phones in case of emergency without using GPS. Uh, that's now called Polaris Wireless and it serves a significant number of networks worldwide uh, for a number of purposes from law enforcement to effectively emergency response. After my PhD at MIT, I also acquired a degree in quantum physics from France while I was thinking whether I still wanted to finish my PhD or not. And along the path, uh, I worked still for Polaris Wireless. We helped create a new university, uh, MIT's Caltech, uh, in Russia, in Moscow, where I co-led the entrepreneurship and innovation pillar to create a new form of university that would consider in equal footing, education, research, and innovation. Um, I came back to teach items here at MIT, or I kept teaching items at MIT for all that time. Along the way, in between my telecom startup after my PhD and before teaching items, I still got into a number of other startups, anywhere from fashion and artificial intelligence to a, a completely robotic hedge fund, where it was nearly magical, actually, because every morning, computers would decide what to invest on. They would invest on it at some point during the day. They would clean up and they would just keep on sending us emails, only warning us when human intervention was required, which normally meant that something had gone wrong in the interface with the broker. That was nearly the dream, so we could actually focus on what we really knew how to do, which was make better algorithms. All those experiences, each in a different field, has informed me about how to teach and how to explain to people how to take ideas that at first are probably bad, Right, because every idea starts out bad. To scale, meaning get them out of their head, improve them as you go, and eventually make them to reach scale. And the beauty of this combined background and this combined experience is that they can now help technologies coming from all over MIT, anywhere from software to nuclear engineering, go through the same motions to figure out how, how is it that you start from an idea that's not yet anywhere near being close to anything other than perhaps a paper or a conversation, and you envision an organization that can be built and does not fail in ways that you can predict. Uh, that's what I teach. That's what I've helped organizations do. That's what I've helped some venture capital think about in a way to conceive internally uh, how to create companies from within and source technologies as needed. And that's what I'm hoping that the readers of my book will feel empowered to do, whether they're entrepreneurs or people in large corporations that want to help these large corporations reinvent themselves from within.